Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already part of the sprinkle squad. So sometimes I like am in the mood to do like a renovation and that's actually what we're going to do today. This is actually the sand trap flat in Oasis Springs. So it is this is starting out as base game but it is not actually a base game reno. So this definitely has probably like almost all of the packs because I just tend to use like one item from here one item from there. You know what I mean? So like it just kind of you know, ends up like with a bunch of packs in it. So apologies. It's just kind of like how I like to build. Although I feel like I need to do maybe a reno, like a base game reno with only base game, if that makes sense. Like, let me know if that's something that you might be interested in seeing. And I try to do this in kind of a realistic way, if that makes sense. Now, obviously, like, it's not totally realistic. Like this is a lot of work. Basically, I gutted the whole house. Like you would have load bearing walls and stuff like that. But I tried to keep the original shape of the house and kind of the essence of the house. So it, it is reminiscent of what was there originally. But you know, I, I had to like add a bunch of stuff to it, if that makes sense. So I actually ended up creating a very like luscious backyard. I'm not gonna lie. We are in the middle of the desert, but I just opted to make like a super luscious yard. I don't know. I th and then it kind of evolved into, I'm thinking that the Sim or Sims that live here are like plant lovers if that makes sense so we do have some like gardening here there's a lot of plants inside and because like when I started I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do which I know I feel like I say that a lot like I just I never know <laughs> like and I just go in and start doing stuff I feel like it's really rare for me to like actually know exactly what I want when I start if that makes sense but I am really happy with the way this turned out so I kind of made this like backyard area like into three sections or at least on the porch it's like three sections two of which have the island living windows which I think you actually have to go into debug to find but it allows you to be able to get that really nice sunlight through and not have to put like a roof on it and like it's able to protect what's underneath it if that makes sense because I I kind of have a love-hate relationship with those porches like when I do those like pergolas because then there's stuff underneath it I think it can get like struck by lightning and stuff which can be kind of irritating when you're actually playing and have to like go in and like buy it again but anyway so I have two of those spaces are actually covered so hopefully you won't have a lot of damage that's done by rainstorms and I tried to keep the landscaping like especially in the front kind of reminiscent of what's in the area already in Oasis Springs um I think a lot of that I did get out of debug which is a great place to actually get landscaping items especially if you're trying to match a world you can filter by that pack or base game in this instance to see really like the stuff that was used in here here, and I think that helps like a whole lot. Now I did add a lot of stuff in the backyard that is a little more luscious, like lively looking. And I'm thinking that the Sims that lived here like added it, you know what I mean? Like this is like something that they do as their hobby. And since it is like the desert, I thought it'd be really nice to actually have a pool back here. Cause I feel like you would want to go swimming, you know what I mean? And like cool off considering I'm sure it's very hot out here. And even when I was doing the backyard, I really like started and just didn't exactly know where I was going with it. I'm not going to lie. Like it really, it took me a while to figure out what I wanted, but I am really happy with the way it turned out. And I actually ended up doing this in like two different recordings because once I started on the inside, I basically do the whole outside, I think for the most part, and then do the inside. When I got to the inside, I started like losing inspiration and I wasn't exactly sure how to decorate it. So I ended up having to like stop and like come back. And I think that helped a lot because I was having a hard time figuring out like what colors and like just kind of in general what this was going to look like on the inside. And I believe this started as a two bedroom, but I ended up just doing a one bedroom. It is a rather large bedroom, but I kind of liked it. Like this is really just like one or two Sims just like living their best life here in the desert. And I just thought that was so lovely. And they have this wonderful like fireplace area out here as well. And of course, <laughs> when I came back in the second time in order to like finish the build, it had deleted all my terrain paint, which is a glitch in The Sims that sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't. I don't know what causes it to happen. I really, really, really wish they would fix it <laughs> because it's so frustrating when you put a lot of work into it. So just as a warning, it might happen if you download it. It is already up on The Sims 4 gallery under my ID, Spice and Sprinkles, all one word, all lowercase and down in the description if you want to see it written out. So feel free to download it, you know, do whatever you want with it, change it do different like skill building stuff out here but I did actually end up adding I believe like an easel and a chess table and I say I believe because I did this last week so I'm trying to remember 
what exactly I did because I built like two other things last week <laughs> um including the ghost house that you saw yesterday or no two days ago now I guess um up on the channel I actually like filmed that like really recently like more recently than this since I figured you know what I think I'm gonna do something for Halloween and get that out but anyways and also like I know again I sound really funny so apologies for that like I can tell at least I'm not like coughing or anything but we're working on it you know I'm I'm working on it so hopefully you know soon like I will start sounding a little bit better I'll be seeing like my allergists and all that kind of stuff just you know trying to get you know my health and life figured out right now um so I know I'm sure several of you understand <laughs> trying to figure out like what's going on with you but anyways I don't want to like dwell on that or anything like that because that's not you you know that's not what you came here for um but I'm just adding like a bunch of stuff in here and like I said I really tried to make it very luscious and I tried to construct like really specific areas in the backyard and we have like that one in the back there for the gardening the one like oh my gosh what is that called like a little plot like why am I blanking all of a sudden the little place for gardening I do end up adding some more like smaller um planting pots over by the actual gardening area which I do add a little bit later but I just really love the idea of it kind of just being this really nice place to go out and hang out like that just like sounded so fun to me and again like once I was really trying to put all of these flowers and everything in the backyard is when I decided you know what I think these sims might really be into you know gardening and like I said I added a bunch of other stuff there is a computer in this lot as well so your sims can kind of do whatever they want to I feel like there's a lot of skill building stuff and obviously like I always say you can swap stuff out you know whatever it is that your sims need for your gameplay that doesn't hurt my feelings at all because again this is just like what I was thinking for this home but obviously that doesn't necessarily mean that's how you're going to actually end up using it and I I ended up using a lot of like the exterior stuff from get together so like those like modern looking windows and doors and I just loved the blue like the blue frame on both the windows and doors I just thought it looked so nice so actually that's where I drew a lot of that like blue inspiration that I used and sorry I'm like talking about it now and not like when I first placed it but you know anyways I'm thinking about it now and just adding that in and I just thought that was so nice so I really brought a lot of that blue in here and um this is like a more closed off floor plan I feel like than maybe what I usually do and I feel like you know it's good for me to branch out a little bit I probably should try to maybe do like a more traditional family home that's a little more closed off and I say traditional because like I live in the U.S. and like that for us is a little more traditional but I am curious like is that the norm you know where you live like for me I feel like I see a lot of times now it's like really open floor plans which I personally like at least like in the like direct living areas just because I'm like I'm one of those people that really likes having people over like of my friends like I'm the host like I love having people over and just like it's nice to be able to like be in the kitchen and the dining room like being able to like talk to people no matter where they are in the space is kind of nice but that's just like a total random aside but I know like people definitely have different opinions about that you know some people really love it and some people really don't which is like totally fair as well and just like I think at this point when I was doing the bedroom I was really starting to have a hard time figuring out the direction like you can see I swapped around the wallpaper a few times and I think I can't remember I, at this point I probably already like swapped to the second session of filming and I had originally thought you can kind of see that like middle area with the doorway off to the left I actually was going to use that as like a small office space but I ended up taking that out and kind of including that in the kitchen area and instead putting a desk in the bedroom because there was room for it. So I thought that made a little more sense. And like I was thinking about like closing off that space, but I don't know, it, it, it looked a little bit better open having that like office and bedroom space. But I really like the way all these colors actually came together. And I think the pictures on the wall helped a lot especially the one with like the tree there honestly I really love that painting because it's so vibrant and it can really help tie a lot of colors together and I think that makes sense especially like bringing in the colors that were outside in the vegetation and I feel like too when I build sometimes I start outside and I feel like sometimes I start inside and that helps inform the other so since I had those really rich orange tones and blue outside I wanted to bring that indoors because again I figured you know the people that are planting all that stuff outside are the same people that would be decorating the bedroom in here so I wanted to like bring all of that in here and I will say and I'm not gonna lie it kind of bugs me a little bit that <laughs> the dresser I have is not lined up with the bed 
but you know what I'm not going to dwell on it for me personally I wish it would have been moved over but I really loved the windows and everything so I didn't want to change it so it's a little bit off I'm hoping it doesn't bother anybody too much but just know that I know know that it you know I know that they're not like centered but honestly I feel like that's more realistic you know what I mean? Like houses are not perfect and I feel like when I build in The Sims a lot of times I, I make it that way in terms of it like trying to fit it together perfectly and like that basically the home was built for these sims and their furniture and so it all totally makes sense and that's just like not real life you know and I've talked about that before. I feel like maybe I need to try building more in the mindset of like real life you know like I don't know maybe that'd be a fun challenge like having a set of furniture almost and then like having a house I don't know how I would do that like would I have someone else pick out the furniture or something or maybe like I would pick out furniture and then like make a shell of a home I don't know you know what I mean like trying to realistically fit stuff into a space that's not necessarily like because you know life life's not usually like that you know I guess unless you like build your own home you know, you'd probably have more specifications on exactly what's in there and then it'll like fit your furniture and like what you want and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like a lot of times it's like, mm, yeah, this, this works. Like <laughs> I can put that here and that'll, that'll look fine. Like I, that, that, that looks good there. Um, and then in the kitchen, I believe that's what I do next. Like I said, I honestly had a hard time with the living room. So I think I saved it <laughs> to be the last room that I work on because it just, I don't know, it was really like, I didn't know what to do with it and here for the kitchen I swap stuff around a lot I was wanting to have actually like a dining table maybe in front of the bedroom door but I end up actually not doing that because there just wasn't quite enough space so instead we have this small bar area where you know your sims can sit and eat obviously they can eat on their bed they can eat in the living room and we do have a really nice dining table outside as well so I figured you know these sims might like being outside so I figured they could eat out there too but I do end up, I think, putting in a like kind of like mudroom area in here, kind of like if you came in the back door and wanted to put all your stuff down. And then I also put in this kind of like coffee area as well. And I will say too that, you know, before you come for me, there is fruit in this kitchen. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know that my mom, who goes by Mama Spicy, if you ever see in the comments, she uh, requires that there is a fruit bowl in every one of my builds. And it was actually so funny. I ended up putting the lemon and lime bowls. I end up putting them on that top shelf. You'll see me probably do that in a little bit. I actually, Mama Spicy is here right now at my house helping me take care of my dog. Um, so again, I feel like I'm going from a lot of topics. I just got two dogs like over the past couple of months. It's been kind of crazy, which has also added to just the craziness of my life and like dealing with my own health stuff. But we just have got two dogs and one of them just got spayed. So like we're trying to take care of her and keep her, you know, from, from running around and stuff. So Mama Spicy's here to help me out with that a little bit for the next couple of days. And anyways, the point is I was showing her this build. I was like, oh yeah, I've got this. It hasn't been posted yet. And the first thing she says when we go into that kitchen is where's the fruit bowl? And so I was like, they, there are lemon and limes right there on that shelf. Like it is not the normal fruit bowl, but there is a bowl of fruit. Okay. It is right there. And she was like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> So yes, it is there. So if you're looking for it, it is there. Okay. I did not forget. I feel like that's up there with like forgetting for me, like a trash can or something like that. Like that has to be there. Like there has to be fruit somewhere in the kitchen, like, or in the home. I feel like maybe that would work. I don't know. I actually haven't asked my mom if that would be okay. Like if the fruit bowl was somewhere else in the house, although I don't know where else you'd put it, but except maybe in the dining room. You know what I mean? If that's a separate space from the kitchen. But anyways, that's actually kind of funny to think about. I guess I need to ask her like if that would be something acceptable for me to do. But anyways, I wanted to be sure to point that out that that is in fact there. And I will also say that I put those like wooden panels there like on the wall to give it a little more texture and interest. Um, I did not notice until I took screenshots that one of them is a little bit lower than the other. So I apologize. You'll see it in the screenshots but it was already up on the gallery. So it is going to be a little off. So if it bothers you or you can even tell, you feel free to move it. If you just um, actually hold the alt key, like if you're on the computer, then you can freely move it on the wall. So if you wanna change it around or get rid of them all together, I just thought I'd go ahead and tell you that like, I know, and you'll see it in the screenshots and I apologize, but I was like, it's already on the gallery. So there's nothing I can do about it. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to warn you. And in this, the living room, 
it posed a little bit of like a challenge for me because it was a little bit smaller and it was like right there by the front door but I think it turned out really lovely in the end because I ended up putting like a bunch of plants over in the corner again because I had finally figured out what I wanted and like maybe what the sims were like that lived here which I think actually helps a lot when you're trying to build if you're thinking about the sim that might live here like you know decorating I think becomes maybe a little bit easier but I did include like a small entrance area with the coat rack and everything and like place to put your shoes and your mail because I feel like that's so nice to have and like I feel like not everybody actually has that space like my old house did not have that space at all whatsoever really like I had to put like a tiny little cabinet by the front door because the front door went like right into the living room um but in my current house I do have like a small space where we can actually like put things when we come in the door anyway so I try to include that in my build if I can and I think it turned out really nicely I love the little bookcase that were in the corner with that chair and I had to keep in mind too that like there's only gonna be like two sims in this house so like there doesn't have to be a ton of furniture here in the living room but I love the way the fireplace looks with that wallpaper like the richness of the wood there I think it looks just so nice and I think it actually ended up blending really well together and I'm actually happy with the way it turned out like I said this one was difficult it took me a while to do but it finally we finally got there you know what I mean and I like to talk about that because I sometimes like even when I watch speed builds like I feel like sometimes it comes really easy to people like when they're decorating I'm like how did they do that like that like that's like perfect together and like you know like how how does somebody like do that you know and I just want to let you know that like I feel like these look really nice but like it takes a while to get there like it's not like easy all the time like sometimes stuff comes to you but sometimes it really doesn't so I just like to mention that every now and again um, in case you ever like are building and you're like why does it look so easy on speed builds it's because they're, they're edited you know what I mean so a lot of times I end up cutting out stuff where I go back and forth or like I stop and I walk away and come back because I actually end up like I have a like stream deck and I actually will pause it <laughs> like if I feel like I'm about to like have a hard time doing something and I'm about to go through like 50 million wallpapers or all of the couches in the game I'll pause it so I don't actually record all of that because like you don't want to see me go through every couch in the game to like go back to the first one I chose which I feel like happens so often so and then I'll like start again once I pick a couch you know what I mean so anyways I'm letting you in on the little secret of like recording my speed builds if that's what I do I don't know if that's what everybody does I think some people will go back and actually edit this stuff out but I just rather like pause it when I feel like it's coming when I when I'm about to do like a bunch of stuff that I would probably want to edit out but anyways I'm kind of finishing up here outside like this kind of entertaining skill building area which I think came out so nice like this honestly I feel like I'd want to play in this home but I just don't do that much gameplay um, especially like anymore I do a little bit over on my twitch channel and that's linked down below if you're interested and like I haven't been streaming recently like I'm hoping to get back into it again just with life stuff um, you know doing my best just finally getting back into speed builds which I've been really happy about but hopefully getting back into streaming really soon and I do a lot of like building and stuff over there and here in the front I just kind of like I want to say I kept it simple but I ended up like filling in that whole porch area so maybe you wouldn't consider keeping that simple but I did actually end up putting like a fire pit in that corner which I thought was so fun for entertaining like maybe this is like um the sim the, the sim or sims just like having people over and I just thought that was kind of really nice and I ended up putting like two rocking chairs over by kind of like those front windows as well because I didn't want it just to be like completely empty like I felt like I really wanted this to look like it was really put together again one of those things that's like that's not always the way real life works but that's just kind of what I wanted for this home and then I actually ended up putting a little fountain water feature on the side there which actually looks kind of cool because you can see it from the inside like at the bedroom which I also like to think about what you might see out of the window or like I guess what the sims would see because you don't always see that when you're playing at least I don't and I just think it's kind of funny like they don't actually like benefit from that and I just <laughs> I don't know I just find it so funny that like I'm thinking about that stuff and thinking about like more like humans and like realistically but anyways <laughs> we're kind of finishing this up now and we're going to go into screenshots here in a minute so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe I would really really appreciate it and I hope you have a really sweet day bye everybody 